Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for all my Cappies out there, Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this remaining of the month of August 2020. All right. Ooh. Commitment. All right. All right, Capricorns, we have the past life relationship here. We also have engagement very soon. Let your friends help you. Attraction and give relationship or your relationship a chance. All right. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a past life connection. Uh, now, what they're showing me here is if you can see on the very ends of these cards right here and right here. These are completely different couples. So I feel that there was or is still present a very like deep connection to someone from your past. Now this could be an ex-wife, this could be an ex-husband, this could be an ex-lover, an ex-partner. But I also do see uh, either you're presently in a serious committed relationship for some of you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, I do see commitment coming in for you guys, and this is a monogamous type of relationship, but I feel that the past life relationship is still playing a very important role in your life, okay? So, so you guys don't get confused. What they're telling me is that you're presently still dealing with a, pa a past life relationship. This could be an ex-partner, this could be a person that you felt madly in love with or you put up with a lot of nonsense that you wouldn't have put up with whether it be other people um but because there was genuine love there i feel that that link that connection is still present and it is still currently affecting your present nonetheless i do see you guys either in st in, in a new relationship for some of you guys still single because you're still healing from this past relationship, but I do see love coming in, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, with this past relationship, um, you guys have known each other in the past. Now, if you are a Capricorn that has been divorced or has been separated, but you still are in good terms with an ex-partner, I feel that the reason why there's still like a very strong link there is because there is still like genuine love or genuine friendship still there present and i feel that oftentimes you may feel the need to go back to that connection to communicate with that person to i feel that they they, they help you center yourself now i also do see you in another relationship for some of you guys you may be presently in a relationship or for those of you guys that are currently still single i feel that the reason why you haven't really embraced a new beginning has more to do because you're still dealing with this past relationship nonetheless i do see uh, engagement right at the center so engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment now this doesn't mean that you meet, for those of you guys that are single, it doesn't mean that you meet a person and then bam, you're engaged. No. What it's signifying here is that if, in fact, you have been single for quite a while because you're still healing from the past, there is a relationship that's coming in that is going to be more consistent, that it's going to be more stable, that is going to be a monogamous relationship for those of you guys that, like I said, have been single for a while. And it's coming rather soon. When the very soon card comes out, uh, especially when I'm doing readings for clients, it usually indicates about weeks time or two weeks time spam. Um, so again, very quickly, you may find yourself um, in a connection with someone that you feel you're very strongly connected to. Now, you do have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Um, this is a, it's almost like a, a like surrounding yourself with love, embrace love around you. Um, and I feel that for some of you guys, if, as an example, if you are currently or have in the past uh, experience a loss in a relationship. And when I say loss, I don't mean like an ending or a separation. I mean like your partner ascended they passed on they you know they died um 
I feel that for some of you guys, you may still be dealing with that type of energy. And what they're telling you here is to really try the best you can to surround yourself around love. And the easiest or most effective way is to surround yourself with friends and loved ones that are going to help you uh, raise your vibration and, and not meddle or not dwell in that sadness. Um, it is important to understand, yes, of course, losses are very difficult and something that for some may take years. For others, it may take a couple of months. Everyone mourns in a very different way. And I know that this message could be for a very minimal of you guys, but still the message is coming through. If you are dealing with mourning, um, don't try to rush yourself into healing because obviously that's not going to work. The easiest route is to surround yourself with loved ones, with people that genuinely care and love you, um, to distract yourself, to help you raise your vibration, to be able to uh, release and let go and surrender to that process, whether it's embracing the full hurt, um, which is something we don't like to do, but it is necessary for healing. Now, if that's not for you, then that, don't take that message. If it does resonate, take the message with you. Now, like I said, right at the center, we do have engagement and we have attraction with very soon. I feel that this connection that's coming through is going to be very, very strong uh, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time. I feel that this connection is almost going to feel as if you've known them for a very, very long time. Um, now, I do see here, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. This may not resonate uh, necessarily for people that are currently separated, although it may. Um, but I feel that give the relationship a chance has more to do with you, Capricorn, except that you do deserve to be genuinely loved, that you do uh, deserve to be happy. It's okay to be happy. And remember, you have Saturn in your 10th house right now. So there's a lot of clearing of energy. There is a lot of purging yourself from past experiences in order to go to the next cycle of your life. And uh, really resonating here with the very soon an attraction card to be able to pull in a new energy with someone that it ha that is ready to commit to you. Um, and give the relationship a chance. I feel that it speaks more to you, Capricorn, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I feel that this is spirit letting you know, like you deserve to be happy. Give yourself the opportunity to open up or to connect with people. Um, should you feel this connection from, for a specific person. Now I'm going to be pulling out two other cards and these are the energies that are currently <laughs> influencing you. This is so funny. I was just talking about Saturn being in your 10th house and here we have Saturn. Uh, this is your ruling planet Capricorn and it's sitting right in your 10th house. So again, a lot of purging things that are not working for us, we need to let that go. If you are tired of going from relationship to relationship and it just doesn't work out, you got to purge yourself from jumping from one relationship to another. Take time to heal. Give yourself some time to be single. Don't go from one to the next to the next. Because Saturn sitting in your 10th house is not going to make it easy for you. And it's telling you, hey, you want to sit there and tell me you want commitment? Well, you're settling with flings. You're settling with one-nighters. You're settling with this. You're, se you're settling with everything but people that are wanting commitment. So again, it's about those lessons that you need to overcome in order to cleanse yourself and be ready for what's coming towards you, which is something much more uh, stable. You also do have your fifth house. Fifth house is all to do uh, with family. It's all to do with passion. It's all to do with desires. Uh, it's to do with having fun. So you have two cards that are very opposite right now. Um, Saturn is that of rigid, you know, that of difficulty, of restraint. It's all about self-control. For some of you guys, you need to learn to control your passions. Some of you guys, you need to control um, the desire of lusting after people. Maybe that's the reason why relationships often fall apart for you, because it's usually you cheating. Or oftentimes, you are attracted to people that are very good at cheating, um, so again, you need to balance those energies, self-discipline. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to engage in anything that 
it really you know creates that passion within you but it comes through balance it comes through self-discipline self-mastery in order for you to be able to experience a very balanced life okay i hope that makes sense for you guys and i will see you guys soon bye